Hi guys, it's Carson Prince here, and welcome to my video. And I know I just like made a video like 20 minutes ago and just posted it like five minutes ago, but I figured, you know what? I feel like making another video, you know. So first of all, I'm gonna say, and um, I'm very much looking forward to Guild Wars 2. And next, I am very psyched because I finished it under Wars speed clear finally after such a long time. I used to finish them all the time, and now I just tried one today. Just randomly tried one, and um, not done one in about two months. Just went in one, and we finished in about an hour. Um, it was actually quite a slow run, and uh, the um, spiker forgot to bring pain inverter, so it slowed us down by quite a bit. But anyway, um, now I just want to like, like fill in a couple of gaps with my Guild Wars 2, see overview. <laughs> Um, so in home, I've got about 35 points. I'm I'm just being rough here. It might be about 33, 34, maybe even 32. Um, but uh, um, that's that. So um, you need to get 30 points to unlock all of the um, items. And um, really, I'm really looking forward to um checking them all out. Now, after like I have to say, in the last couple of days, I've learned more about Guild Wars 2 than I've ever learned before due to watching the videos in Comic Con because I'm lazy and I don't like reading. And um, so the one thing I kind of like about it is that um, there isn't a main, there isn't like a main tank like like what you usually have in Guild Wars 1. The, in Guild Wars 2, it forces teams to work more together, work, um, you need to equally contribute to each other and you know you need to you can't tank or you'll just get killed so somebody stands in there for a couple of seconds until his health's getting low and then jumps out and then somebody else takes his place because in guild wars 2 the aggro system is they f they attack the nearest thing to them so it'd be really simple to just swap um, character every so often and um, so that's pretty good and also i like how if you're a high level, you can't do anything lower level with um, the amount of E's it would be in like Guild Wars 1. So if you're in Guild Wars 1 level 20 and you go back and do, I don't know, um, Quebec Village in Nightfall, it's going to be easy and it's quite boring because of that. So what they do is they scale your level down uh, slightly above the, um, the level cap so it's easier for you than it would be for somebody under the level cap or on the level cap but it is still quite fun instead of just like one hitting them with um, the crappiest skill in the book and um, so like I think that's pretty good so it will make things more fun if you're getting bored of the storyline that you're on at the moment and you just want to like play your play the missions over again and um, which I do fairly often um, I tend to do the early missions in hard mode which is kind of fun but it can be quite difficult because the um, missions are designed for normal mode and they're all low level uh, so they're designed for low level monsters in hard mode it can be quite a bother with only three heroes and um, a big big mob of um, uh, sorry what are they called well foes coming at you sorry um, so I think that's pretty good also um, I like how the um, weapon, I like how, I love how the skills work. So you get your five skills that come with your weapon. Um, obviously your profession, your main hand weapon, your off hand weapon uh, affect your skills. Um, and you get two weapon sets and you can swap these anytime in combat. Um, for most professions, um, for every, you get two weapon sets. Your main hand give, uh, um, contributes three skills, your off hand contributes two skills. A two handed weapon obviously has all five skills. Now, but for a thief and an elementalist, this is slightly different. An elementalist only has one weapon set, but an elementalist can swap four attunements. But um, uh, your last attunement has a second, 20 second recharge, and the other two attunements have 10 second recharge. So you need to um, swap with. Um, an element of care, haha. <laughs> element, elementalist, haha. <laughs> I made a funny one. Anyway, and the thief, um, the sk um, sorry, um, you get two skills for your main and two skills for your offhand, and your last, your fifth skill is um, you get that um, 
like uh, sorry, uh, you get your fifth skill um, comparing your main ha main weapon and your um, offhand. So just say you get your two skills of a main hand dagger and you get two skills of an offhand dagger, and then you get death blossom because you've got two daggers. But if you have a dagger and um, sorry a sword and a dagger or a sword and a pistol, you have the two skills and then the two skills of the so yeah, an offhand dagger. You'd have the t same last two, and a different first two, and your fifth skill will be different. Sorry, that's quite confusing, but um, if you check it on the Guilders Two website, you'll understand a bit more, I think. Um, that was quite difficult. And then you get your um elite skill, your hero skill, and I think you get. I I'm not sure. I think it's. Is it free? Is it free general skills? Uh, free utility. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure if it's free or two. Um, utility, um, it's it's free or two. I'm not sure though, but it's um really good because um, well, there, and also you get these um traits, which affect everything about your game. Um, so just say that um, someday were to have the exact same setup as you, um, uh, dagger, dagger, and short bow. Right, so I have dagger, dagger, and shortbow, and they have dagger, dagger, and shortbow, but the skills can be totally different. Um, their first five skills will be the same, but they won't act the same. And if you have the exact same traits and the exact same setup, they'll be exactly the same. But if you have different traits, which there are a massive amount to choose from, and um, there's like over a hundred um, traits for every single profession, so you get one, um, one major and one minor for your main weapon, I think. It, or no sorry yeah one major and one minor for your main hand and one minor for your um off hand i think that's it but don't don't um 100% listen to me i'm i'm just i think that's what it is um anyway um the major ones obviously they make a major difference and the minor ones make a minor difference and if you've got a two handed weapon i think you just get the major and two minors as well and you get um for a thief exam for example um you get a few traits i think it's a major and t two minors i'm not sure for shadow arts and um two major uh, a major and two minor for something else which i can't remember um maybe precision or something like critical hits but once again i'm not sure um, the attributes are kind of like the same as um, Guild Wars One, but it's but it's the di they're different. You get power, precision, uh, vitality, and um, I think it's defense or something like that, or armor. Um, I'm not sure which one the la which it is, but the last one affects your defense or your armor. So power it um, increases the damage you do in attacks. Precision it increases your um, uh, your percentage on getting a, a critical strike, uh, vitality it raises your max he max health level, and um, the last one obviously increases your defense. Um, I think it may be called defense or armor or um, you know something like that. Um, so I think that's really it. Uh, I might have more stuff to talk about, but for now I think that will be me. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. And the wave didn't work again. Oh well, see you soon. Bye.